Hey guys, welcome back to another Geo video. Today we're going to be changing the tire and we'll see what happens. Alright, it's a really nice day, so we're going to change the tires on the Geo here. We get the spare. Hopefully, it will hold some air and replace it on the front one here. Because right here is bubbling and cracked sidewall, so we gotta change it out. Oh, yeah, and here's the hitch we're gonna work on. We gotta roll that up, roll that up, and then these brackets will bolt right in the frame. And this is the hitch we got the receiver. So it is a two inch that we'll use just to weld it on there like that and then we can hook up to any trailer we want to. Alright, if you're wondering what socket size the Geo load mitts are, mine is 19. These are pretty tight. Is it because they're aluminum? Yeah, that's why you can never tight, tight, tight enough bolts on aluminum. Because they'll tighten themselves. This tire is like brand new. Straight from the factory, it looks like. That's pretty cool. Like, look how deep that tread is. That. How do you make it go forward? This. You push this either forward or backwards. I want to go on like until it stops and then yeah. I'll tighten it with the bar. <laughs> So you're thinking tomorrow it should be open to have everything done. Machined. Like every part should be pretty much ready for this to assemble. Alright. As well. Oh, you got the shock on there? No. Just sitting there? Just sitting. Okay. Shock goes here. Okay. Have to make brackets that come out here for that to sit into like this. Yep. So the shot can sit right here. All right. I wish this, for what I have, I can't change it, but I wish that was a, I would have made a hoop. Oh. And then a mount right there on a hoop. I've seen those like for longer shocks. And then you can mount a yep. bigger shock in there for yep. more. More travel. More travel. Should have plenty. But how, you, how do you get the, um, I'll go through all that. that. I'll go through all that when we go to put it all together and assemble. Okay. Okay. Since the weather's nice. Yeah, it's like 50 today. So it's clean in here. Tighten it with a wrench. I did not. Do this. Is that what you're talking about? You did this. Yeah, I did. Put the lock on. No, I gotta do that still. So. Tinted windows all the way around it. Now it's locked, so. 
Yeah, so that black top's gonna have tinted windows Side right there. And back. Sides and back. Is that gonna have the tracker? No. Darn it. Get that made up. Oh, at Denmark? Yeah. All right. You can put whatever you want on there. Off road machine. Maybe you put Badlands on there too. Like in the front or something. Yeah. No, what you gotta do is uh, write it upside down. Like a GPS. And then tip me back over upside down so when you're upside down, it looks like you can read it. But we gotta figure out. Do you think of anything like how to mount this bar? I got a couple ideas, but I won't know until the new top comes in to see if it's a, if it's the same. All right. The style might be different. Yeah. Because it's a newer top, you might have a different idea. All right, they're all tight now. Some deep tread. Yeah, so pretty happy today we got that tire change because that's really unsafe to have that old tire right there. Because what was happening was, I don't know if I hit a pothole or something, but the, like the sidewall here was like busted out and like really bad. And luckily this tire is good, brand new tire on here, which is pretty freaking awesome. Look, there's even the little... Little lip hasn't been used at all. So, good day today. Don't worry guys, uh, we got videos coming soon. It's starting to get warm out. Uh, Michigan is weird. It's like freaking 50 degrees in February, so, but there are videos coming of this pretty soon. We gotta change the rear diff fluid. Um, weather strip, the windows because they don't seal right uh, get the carb tuned and also for instead of the badlands this year we're gonna go up north to drummond island and that blue truck right there and that black one right there we'll take and some quads too we'll take up to drummond island and that's north by mackinac bridge we're gonna take those, probably mount a winch on that one. Take that blue one, we'll trailer them up to Drummond Island. And then we're just gonna beat the crap out of them, have some fun. I think you guys are gonna really enjoy that. Uh, probably P Baby, Tristan, uh, Levi will be there, maybe Timbo, Brendan. Uh, Tristan will probably ride this. I'll probably be riding that quad right there. But yeah, this is going to be a really fun time. I hope you guys are excited. And trust me, we're going to be going to the dunes pretty soon to Silver Lake. That's going to be pretty awesome. Uh, probably in the Geo, I want to take Levi with us, uh, take his Cummins. He's also doing a five-speed manual swap on that. So you guys should pretty be excited for that. And as soon as I see him again, I'll probably go see him, see what he's doing. And if you guys are looking for a, I don't know, what transmission it is, like a 4.7 RE or something trans, out of his Cummins, his auto Cummins, he's selling that on Facebook. So look him up, give him some support, he needs that money to finish his build. So go hit him up. And today was a pretty good day. I'm happy with getting that Geo done. And hey guys, I um, want to let you know one more thing. Um, I'm going to be leaving for a school trip pretty soon. So I won't be posting uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'll be gone. But I just want to let you know that's why I won't be posting anything.